Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. Um, this video is going to be uh, not really a repeat of another one, but maybe a little bit of a clarification on the one uh, where there was columns within columns. Seems that there's uh, still a few people that are having uh, difficulty in uh, getting on how that uh, works. So I thought, well, let's uh, try this again. And this time I'm going to be uh, using uh, the process to create content with Elementor uh, that will be used uh, for a site header, for an example. Okay, so here we are in the back end and we're going to be using uh, Anywhere Elementor and uh, let's just go to plugins and I'll show you what we've got here. Uh, Anywhere Elementor and just the uh, free or core version of uh, uh, Elementor plugin itself. Uh, of course, with the Pro, uh, you'd have the ability to use the short codes with the Pro, but that's what Elementor does. Okay, that's basically all Elementor does. It allows you to use a short code uh, to place content you create with Elementor uh, anywhere on your site that will accept a short code. So, with that in mind, uh, let's go over here to uh, AE Templates and we're going to add a new one. And we're just going to call it AE Header template and not that we have to but I'm going to disable a few things here and uh, no title content no sidebars no widgets and we want full width so we'll go here and publish okay now we can uh, start editing this with Elementor So we're going to add a new section, single column. This section is what we're going to refer to as the parent section. Okay, and this is the one where you'll place your background image that you want uh, for your header, for example. So we'll select the section, go to style, classic, and choose an image and I'm going to use this uh, computer one again okay so there it is now a couple things we want to do here or one for sure is uh, we want to do the no repeat and we want to set it to cover okay and I will just hide the preview of course we don't see anything because we have no content in there yet which is good so back over here and this is where the process starts if you don't do it this way uh, it, it just won't work okay so this is the parent section watch now I'm gonna go grab the columns widget and drop it in you will see now I have another section okay this is a child section to this parent okay you don't do anything else to this section. You're working with this section and these columns now. So let's say you want to have a logo. So we're going to choose an image. Oh, let's see uh, which one. Quest. Why not? So there's our logo. And over here we want to put a heading. And we'll say, well, you can say whatever you want. That's not the purpose here. I'm going to put it as H1, center it. And I'm just going to change the color to white. Okay, now with this section, the child section, okay, I'm going to put the content position to the middle. Remember, I'm working on this one now, the child section. Leave this one alone. Okay, so this section. Now you're saying, well, I want another row or section below this one. 
and I want to keep this. Well, you can't go start dragging items in there. It won't work. So what you do is go to this child section, duplicate it, and there you go. See, yeah, but I only want one column. That's fine. So you go to the column. You hit the red X. Do I want to delete it? Yes. Now I have a full width column below these two columns. And as you'll notice, here is another section, another child section. And there is the first child section. So that's the concept that you have to get. Leave this section alone, the parent section, once it's done initially. You add the column widget here, and then you duplicate and delete as required. You could do this again. Let's say you want another section below that. Select that one. Duplicate. But you say, oh, I want to put uh, three images in there. Okay, no problem. Column. Add one. There's two. Add another. There's three. Okay, let's delete that heading. Come here. And where is an image? Right here. And we're going to go, say, this guy. Duplicate. Drag it over here. Change it to this guy. Duplicate it. Drag it over here. Oh, I don't know, this guy. Oh. Had the wrong one selected, didn't I? <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to go Mandarin. Not a man, whatever. Okay. So, and we got it now. Just preview that. Parent section. Child section with two columns. Another child section with one column. And a third child section with three columns. We'll save that. Okay, and I'm not going to go uh, put it up in the header right now. But we're going to poke it somewhere else. So let's go over to here. We'll grab the uh, short code that uh, Anywhere Elementor generates. And uh, GP hooks, which I have from uh, Generate Press. Um, premium add on. I'm going to just put it in the before header content for now, just so we can see it in action. Save hooks. Now let's go look at the front of our site. And there you have it up here. You say, oh, yeah, but it's not full width. Okay, no problem. So you come back over here to templates. Edit with Elementor. Now, the parent section. All right, content width, we'll leave that as boxed, but I want to stretch this section and save it. This is the parent section. Go back here, refresh, and there you go. Now the gap up here, we can get rid of with some CSS. And I don't know if I want to do that for this video because that really wasn't the intent. Uh, you won't get this if you try that. But that's the idea, okay? Let me just go through it one more time. Here is your parent section. And that's where you drop in the first column widget. And then from there, if you want more, you either duplicate it or delete it if you want to remove it. And then there's your second one. We if you duplicated that, just delete the one column and you got a full width one column. And 
If you want more, you just duplicate the column instead of deleting it. Okay. Well, I hope this cleared it up a little bit. Uh, if not, well, uh, post remarks in the comments or on the uh, Elementor Facebook group or even Generate Press Facebook group. And uh, we'll try to go over them there. But anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the uh, Sniffle Valve YouTube channel and also on Sniffle Valve. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see you again soon.